In this presentation we're going to see how you can use the 3D tool graphics from ISCON's eCatalog inside the Vericut Tool Manager. The first step is to go to the eCatalog and here we can choose for some cutters by family type or um, product code if you know it. I'm going to search for this milling cutter and we can see here that we've got the, uh, the catalog number description and it tells us here whether there's a DXF, that's 2D geometry, or STEP, which is a 3D CAD geometry available. So I'm going to pick one of these here, this one. So um, we get um, a look at the tool, we can see the information type of insert it's designed to carry. And here we can see we've got the 3D light model available. So I'm just going to click on here, save as and save this to my computer. So I'm going to save it to this temporary folder, overwriting the file that's already in there. Now we switch to Vericut Tool Manager. And here we can see um, the Vericut Tool Library and I'm going to import the new data. Import CAD Tool, Browse, and if I search by time we can pick this one, the most recent one that we've just downloaded. So this is a milling cutter, it's in millimetres. I hit load and we can see that um, it's brought in the solid bodies. These are in the same colour at the moment. If I can click on here I can say that this is my uh, cut holder, the non-cutting part. Click on this guy here, make this my revolved cutter. This is my re the revolved or spun axis and you can see it um, interrogates the spun profile from it. And we just click add new tool and here we've got our 3D cutter body for milling ready to go in Vericut. So with a milling cutter defined, let's take a look how we can go through the process for a, uh, a complex turning or mill turn cutter. Back in the e-catalog, I'm going to search for another type and I'm going to choose a, um, a C6, that's a cam fix style. Uh, mill turn cutter from a multitask machine. And I'm going to choose the one here. If we scroll down, we can see we've got um, uh, DXF or step models available. The more complex tools really need to be defined to using the um, uh, 3D step data. Now, down here, we've got a uh, C6 multitask tool and I'm going to take uh, this one just here. We get the preview we can see that we've got the offset 45 um, millimeters in um, X and uh, 65 in Z. Um, so once again we've got the, the 3D model light available click on here we download the step data Save as into the same folder, override the previous file, it's downloaded. We switch back into Vericut Tool Manager and we can now import this new CAD geometry 3602306. This is the catalog number. So this time it's a turning tool, metric, hit load and here we can see it's brought in the 3D solid model of the cutting tool. Now we'll notice that you've got we actually get two pieces of geometry here. The first one is the holder, the non-cutting part. The second one is the insert, a schematic view of the insert and we indicate the cutting edge and add new tool. There you go. We've got a cutting tool ready to go for verification purposes. So here is Vericut 7.1 with a um, machine simulation for a multitasking type machine. This is a Mazak Integrex. So I'm going to 
to do is zoom into this section here and we're going to do some machining using the new cutter that we've defined. So we start uh, the process running. And uh, I'm going to um, fast forward to when we use the, um, the relevant tool, it's tool text T001. So just give this as fast as it can. Okay, and here you can see we've done the tool change. The tool that we've just defined is here in the uh, V axis uh, tool changer. Zoom into here. And as a single step through, you can see that the uh, it's approaching, but the B axis is quite close to the uh, to the chop jaws. So I'm just going to uh, let this run until there's a until there's an error. Vericut is telling us that we've got as close as one millimeter between the um, chuck jaws which are shown here spinning in red and the B axis which would indicate that um, whilst this cutting tool is fine there's not going to be any collision problems with this it would be a smart move to put a, an extension bar um, adapter on there as well so this is good example of how we can use the 3D cutter graphics directly from the ISCAR e-catalog, import them into the Vericut tool manager and use them for a accurate virtual prove out. So for more information please contact Doron or myself or visit the CGTech website that's cgtech.com. Thank you very much.